Hey, what's up going on guys? We got a uh, thing that's really, I've gone through these like a million times. Uh, I'm tired of blowing these power supplies. Really, really, really sick of it. I don't know how I do it, but they blow. This is a Yezu PF757 Hotel Delta power supply. She's dead. No, no, well, I got voltage, but getting, oh, about 11.38 volts out of it, and it's supposed to be 13.8. For some reason, I just, all I did was just turn it on, click the switch, and there's a relay inside, and it just quit working. I uh, don't know. I don't understand. Well, we gotta pop this thing open and, uh, See, it works. Even the speaker sounds good on this thing, believe it or not. But, uh, these power supplies are junk. I don't know why. I went through, like, I got another one up in here somewhere. That's a different type. Where is it? Uh, somewhere in that. Right in there, somewhere. But, uh, we're gonna have to tear this thing apart. If it works, it don't. Maybe it needs a voltage regulator. Probably a voltage regulator went in it. Who knows? But, uh, oh my god, this is probably, like I said, probably the third one I went through, and, uh, and this has the fan option, too, on it, I don't know, anyways, stand by, man. okay, we open this side, like I said, we got the back side, it's got the fan option, and the other accessory, I might just go with that. Hook it directly to uh, to, to uh, put the, put the higher voltage into this one. I think it's already been done. Anyways, there's a fuse inside. I didn't even know that. But how in the hell would I blow a fuse? Let me check and stick these uh, capacitors. I don't feel like getting cooked. Just in case they are charged. Nothing. Okay, nothing. She's a little dirty inside. Maybe I should, if I do get it going, maybe I could uh, blow it out with the air gun outside. But there's the relay or the voltage. Here's the back side of it here. This is the uh, bridge rectifier, which I have it's 25, 25 uh, amp one here. And I do have one of these laying around. This fuse is fine. And I'm getting uh, 11 something point volts. There's some uh, ballast resistors down there. Could be, I usually use those uh, fuses. But uh, this is the main fuse to the bridge rectifier. I don't know how this would go by just turning it on and just pop. I didn't overdo this power supply or anything, but uh, we'll check that fuse. Stand by. All right, we got the thing out, and long behold, fuse is gone. How in the hell would this thing burn up like that? I was only getting 11 point something volts out of that. I gotta find one. Uh, I have some fuses laying around. Can you believe that? When I have to blow this thing out, it's pretty filthy. But I'm gonna replace the fuse and see if it pops. But uh, I've never seen this ever happen before. Could be the faulty fuse? I don't know. But this thing worked great. And I do need another supply. This is the supply I really needed. But, uh, and I gotta put this damn connector back together again because I thought it was something in the connector. It ain't. And uh, this is the back of it. Anywho, well, we're gonna stop a fuse in this and see what happens. See if we get voltage. 
All right, well, we replaced the fuse and uh, got uh, some fuses out of the old junk box, which is always good to have. And uh, we're going to do some measurements. Probably off these terminals, see if we got 12 volts coming out. Hang on, stand by again. Hold on. All right, we're going to try this with one hand. Put this back here like that. This one over here. What's the magic number? What the hell is this? There we go. 13, 14.8 volt. That's right on the right on the money. Who's that damn fuse? And this fan is not working. I don't know why. I'm gonna directly connect this fan. Yep, 14.8. I'm psyched. Now I got another working supply. We're gonna. Like saying to myself, how the hell would this thing blow up like that just by turning it on? Could be a surge when you turn the power supply on, makes that bump noise. That could be it. And then I'm gonna wire this fan directly. I don't believe this coolant thing, it just cools at a certain temperature. I want it on all times. But we got voltage right there, man. I am so happy it was just a damn fuse, but I'm going to chicken stick this and uh, blow it out and put this connector back together because I uh, pulled it apart. I thought it was something in the connection, uh, the, J the, the Jones plug. I don't know if I want to put this thing back on or just put a one of them regular other row. Uh, Shig on the bobs there. But, uh, anyways, this is all set to ready to go. Same by one. That we wired up the fan direct. One wires here to the back. Direct fan. Hidden up all the way up in there, the wires. Alright, I'm gonna blow this thing out. better. Oh yeah. That's better. Yeah. And we're all blowing out. It's brand new.
shanks are clear. All right. Got some fan going there. Yep, it's running constantly. That's good. Well, guys, we got this thing all squared away. Got the plug all redone. And I got the center screw in. Strain relief. Don't put it too tight because uh, you don't want to cause trouble with the uh, jacket there. But this is all set to ready to rock and roll. As you see, I got the fan running constantly. Ran the wires to here to the uh, fan uh, jack that you plug in. In case this one dies out, I could just put another new fan on it. But it works. Now, let's see if there's any juice in this thing. You want to see if there's any? You want to see this? Watch. Oh, it does. It's gone. It did it last time. Look at it. Did it a screwdriver. See the mark? And look at that. Like, kind of like welded a, welded a mark into it. And right here. See that? Look at that. That could do that to your finger. Look at how that deep cut it did. Just from the capacitors. But uh, anyways, we got this thing up and running. Well, yeah, what I usually do is I chicken stick it or when you shut the, or you unplug it, leave it on the on position to drain the, drain the caps before you work on something like this. It's dangerous. Always... I'm gonna uh, always make sure these are always discharged before working on a power supply. It's very high voltage, you can get hurt, and uh, just want to disclaim that. Okay, but it, everything works here on and off. And then, like I said, I got the cable here. Now it's all blown out nice and clean. It was very filthy. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to uh, set it up over here on my listening post and then use it on the GX too. Let's see if we put out 100 watts with this thing. All it was was a dang fuse. And I think I know what happened was when you turn on a power supply, okay, you turn it on like this, and it goes, all the juice goes right from the power supply or to the rectifier, boom, the caps go into here right to the rectifier and it causes like a uh, like a thump or whatever it's a high voltage rush there's no rush in rush protection circuit in this so when you turn it on it turns on so it's instant on and sometimes the fuse will go out and that's probably what happened but uh yeah, that's the original power supply uh there's the taps on you can change the taps and, uh, but anyways, uh, hopefully this thing works. It's in pretty good shape. Now I got another power supply. I'm very happy this is successful. And uh, let's see if this thing works and powers up uh, my rig. I gotta box it up. Hang on, stand by. Well, she's powering up my GX2. No problems whatsoever. That's a good thing. Now we're gonna go on the uh, amateur bands. Switch. Oh, I gotta hang on a sec. I gotta get my antenna here hooked up. Forgot. Stay by. Man, it's noisy on here. All right, let's go to uh, Big CW. Just hit the mox or just hit this. All right, I gotta go. How the hell do I did this? Me too. I forgot. Drive up. Too much. And standby one. All right, we're back again. I had to take take two. 
uh, I had the wrong type fuse in there, wrong rating. I went to tune up and it popped. So we're getting 100 watts out of the radio. Audio. Hello. Audio. Audio. Now, November 1 Sierra Charlie Alpha test. And yeah, we're getting uh, the 100 watts out. And uh, we'll call this one a victory. We got this thing all working. Fans on constantly. I replaced a fuse twice. I added the wrong fuse in there. And then I put a... It's supposed to be rated for the fuse you're supposed to put in there. And it just blew that fuse completely inside out. And it just evaporated it. But anyways, this is my conclusion of the radio. I mean, not the radio. The power supply. It works fine. Oh, I'm, I got a gain of another power supply again. So, anyway, 783, and hopefully, uh, I didn't even know I had an internal fuse. I mean, I used to go through these things, uh, somebody must have disconnected the ones I've had before, and uh, that's why they probably overheated and they blew up. But you got to have a fuse in that line where the, right before the uh, bridge rectifier, or after, whatever. And uh, that's probably why the ones I've had, they, uh, were, they blew up, because nobody had a fuse in there or something, or whatever. But anyways, this wraps it up. Um, this is new to me. I never knew they had a fuse in the inside because usually it's on the outside. But uh, all the ones I've had, somebody ripped the fuses out and they just connected it directly. So that's kind of stupid. But anyways, this is uh, the Yesu uh, F, uh, PF, I mean FP757 heavy duty power supply. And it's working. And she's happy. And I'm happy. 7-3. We'll catch you on the next one. Later.